Hello there everyone and welcome back to Red Flood for Hearts of Iron 4 right now. We are doing the new worker of course once again if you would like to read that about that please go right ahead. And we actually I've not just moved anywhere I'm like we're starting right where we left off last time. We're going straight into the Enlightened Liberation Army or Front or Runt. Probably Front. But hey, it was oh hello. Well that's not good. That's really not good. Please don't kill our guys over here. That would El Sucko. That would really El Sucko. If you're gonna die, then uh, do that anyways. Oh, they're doing force attack, maybe. Are they? I can't tell. Oh, oh this will help. Oh, that's very good, very good. So, integrated support, yes, please. Well, actually, this only helped with all infantry mechanized. Well, never mind. Didn't help cavalry, so. That kind of sucks. Yeah, they're definitely doing force attack. They have to be. At least some of these guys are. So, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Hold the line until they stop. So you guys have to keep moving over here too. So that's why we don't always die. Cool. I don't think we'll really realistically be able to rescue them, but we'll do the best we can. Um, yeah, that's not great for us. That looks so bad. That looks so bad. I don't think these divisions are very strong. But if you're gonna die anyways, eh, just force defense. Oh, prepare revolutionary prepare. Prepare prepare. Pre 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 parade, my apologies. Oh my words. Ooh, we can go to war with a lot of people. Prussian Congo unifies the Congo. Good job, guys. They actually hang out, hung out, wow. Oh, when did I set up a naval invasion? I don't remember that. Cool. All right, guys, keep on going. You're doing a great job. Now you guys are doing relatively, oh, man, that was really devastating for the group here, but whatever. You find some guys, you kill them off. Oh, they do have some tanks, look at that. Go figure, they do have tanks. The new worker. Followed up with connect the rail gauges. Oh, uh, no, let's not do that one. Let's do share of the monopolies. The Zaibatsu's held undue power in our economy for years. It's time for the power to be broken and for the subsidiary production groups of the new labor department to take the reins. Very good. Very, very good. We probably lost quite a few guys. Yeah, that's not, actually, that's not too, oh, hello. It's not too bad. There you go. Fight literally until you die. Cut him off, cut him off. Well, one of these divisions died. That sucks. Give me your strength back. Cool, there you go. Um, let's, re let's reset this. So you guys are over here, right? You guys come over here. You 18 are over here. I don't mind that. So you guys come over here and do that. But these guys, not these guys. Come down here. Hang out. So that was kind of disastrous for us, but whatever. You know, we tried the best we could over there, but whatever. All uh, right, not bad, not bad, and going in. You guys just go straight on in. You guys hold off until we can get these guys killed off, so that'll be good. And we'll take as long as we need to to take all these guys out. So, Siam, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll take out Siam. We'll see, we'll see. Are you guys? Can you guys actually do well here? Maybe. I would love for you guys to be able to do very well here, but you know what? Kill these six divisions off. They deserve to die, as we all know. They definitely, definitely, definitely deserve to die. Um, biased intellectual. Meh, seems okay. Mix economy. Yeah, none of these guys are really going to work out for us. Power projection, guns and butter. Yeah, actually, we're suffering from supply consumption right now, so. Mechanized farms. The tractors are not a common device in Japan, nor indeed most of Asia. Mechanical farm tools are foreign and unsuited for farms, therefore, it follows that new and ingenious design should be commissioned. Ah, there you go. Nice. Thank God. We killed them all off. I want you guys to come down here, too, and avenge those divisions that we lost already. Avenge them. Hey, it's a health fighter. Nice. That's a great computer machine is very good. Uh, Tokuda. Tokuda, no. Okay. Alright, grab some of that too. It is 38. Happy 1938, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great year. I want you to force the attack when you get down here. Three, two, one. You're going to force the attack. I'm going to kill every last one of these sons of guns off. There's not going to be a single spare person here by the time I'm done. Not a single one. All right, we took their first, no, maybe, maybe second capital. I don't know, something like that. Nice, nice, nice. Keep going, keep going. Oh, if you could take this off first before that group, that'd be so nice to encircle them, kill them off. Poxe, cool. And they have a little bit of manpower left, but not, they have six divisions left. Max, cool. We lost 35,000, 129,000 for them. That's pretty good. decent, I'd say. Keep going in. You completely encircle these guys off, which is awesome. There you go, head on down here. See what you can do. Makiton. Hey, some free millies. Ooh, yeah, we could definitely use some guns. Kanto. Tho. Nice, there we go. Thank goodness that we got them. Thank goodness. Uh, 
Um, you know what, from here on out, I'm gonna put all you guys down here then. Apologies for losing divisions, man. Sometimes it just happens. It just happens. Sometimes it's supposed to just work, but it don't. Alright. Any planes, actually? Because I, I want to take out as many people, other people first before we actually go to war with China, but we'll see. Textile Industries. In order to reduce foreign dependencies, on, we should expand our domestic textile industries. Not all land is suitable for growing food, and our factories can be tooled up to produce textiles easily. The export market will soon see Japanese labels. Nice. Uh, build us some more naval ports. Oh, yeah, that's right. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, go low. Yeah, you, you keep doing that. I don't mind boosting these up, but, like, we have other things to build right now, so, yeah. Not bad. Siam would be nice. Oh, thank you. We good to go, guys? We good to go? Could be very, very costly here. Uh, what's up? No, our navy's still hanging out. Cool. Um, let's go there. Go home. Save us a little bit of fuel if we can get any. Daily game's not bad, but let the navy go home. There you go. Now we're getting quite a bit more fuel. After this one, let's actually go do something else instead of like that stuff. Great organs of the Red Navy, great the Red Army. Our successes in the revolution leave in its wake a large force of desperate militias, sailors, volunteers, and defectors. A full army reorganization is in order. That would be good for land bonus auction too, so. I wonder, before we actually attack, will they attack us? What do they have over here? Political conflict, which is nice. Chinese immigrants, and then, okay. Will they strike us first? No, okay. So then let's try this. It's probably not going to go very well, but we can try it. Okay, in the south, it's not terrible. It's not really great, but it's, it's not terrible. Hey, look at that. Obviously, up here, it's not very good. If we just do general attacks, we should do okay. Losses, 1,000 versus 9,000. That's not too bad. That's pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Any upgrades? No. Oh, that sucks. Anything over here? No. Cool. Create the Red Army. Reflect on the Revolution? Yeah, I'll probably do that one. During the Revolution, many lessons of war were learned, and we must apply these lessons for future battles. It's going a little better than I thought it would. Cool. Let's grab that one, too. Alright, not bad. Oh, more millies? Oh, yes, please. Get more guns, please. Please, 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 please. Alright, nothing there yet. Yeah, hmm... These are not capital ships, which is fine. Totally okay with me. Totally, totally, totally okay. There you go. Cool. Oh, that would be very good to win here, guys. Win here, and then you can... Oh, uh, well, you're not going to get... Oh, well, you overran him, at least. That's very good, actually. We've lost, what, 25,000 versus 100,000? That's not too bad. Alright, China, Mongolia, well, I guess that would be nice, but still. The Pan-Asian Federation, I hope you love our nation name. Very nice. I'll get some of that radar. Very good. Keep building, building, building. We'll, we'll just take any military factors that we really do need, so. Bangkok. Nice. Up to 31 divisions left. And reflect on the revolution. Follow it up with. Oh, uh, that one's Okay. Oh, look at this! Re recruit esteemed theorists. Many of the intelligentsia were traitors to the revolution. Some remain faithful, however. The position and knowledge should be harnessed to its fullest. Absolutely. Oh, Red right, Division, huh? Not as good as where I would like them to be. There you go. Get some Artie on those guys. That's nice. Artie is so nice to have, man. Oh, we got... Oh. Very good. Now, of course, we will need an army to defend against the southern portions here, but still. Um, I don't want to have a massive border with the Chinese, but it's kind of turning out that way, so yeah. It's not terrible. Do we have enough for recon? Yeah, we do, actually. Let's throw some recon on there. Thank you. Red Kenpai Tai was not bad. Red Divisions, of course. Eh, they're okay. They're not great. So who's next? Ukraine and Moldova? Burma. Ooh, I like Burma. Nice. We should do relatively well attacking them, so I'm not really worried about this one too much. 
Yeah, they got a lot of mountaineers and stuff, but still. Cool. Expand the Marine Guard. Divert naval funds. Remove two naval dockyards from military naval stuff. Ooh. Oh, let's do this one. German tank collaboration. The Germans are at the forefront of tank development. By entering a cooperation scheme with them, we can learn a few things from our own for our own armor program. I apologize for that. I just read that really fast. For our own armor projects and program. Is Bangladesh on the tape? No, it's not. That kind of sucks. Um, take China. Bai Yang government. Well, I don't know if we're really ready for this. I'll be honest. Like, um, I'm gonna separate you two. You two come up here. Because I don't take on Mongolia after China, so... You, and you guys come up here and train. You are okay. You're very offensive, which is fine. We like that. Get a new commander. And... Oh, there goes Italy. All right. Minami Toshimishi. You're a tank guy, but whatever. Be aggressive. And... I don't know if they're going to attack us in the south at all, so... Let's do that. All right, theorists are very good. Expand the Marine Guard. No, we're going to do this one. Followed up next with recognize or re reorganize the Red Navy. The defection of the IJN means that many ships are now understaffed and the battle groups stay out, are out of shape. Time to reorganize. Absolutely. I want you guys to guard against here too, just in case. Some grenade launches. Very nice. Very nice. Mm, yeah, we we'll get some more industry. What are we missing here? Actually, we're doing quite well. We're, uh, ooh. Better radar is very nice as well. Let's grab some of that too. I don't know how many divisions they have here, so I might just be willing to lose these. Oh, that's not ours. Anyway, so, okay. Well, if, we're not, if they're not ours, we have nothing to lose, right? So, we have two carriers. Oh, we need some carrier planes too. I forgot about that. Um, we are making clear carrier planes, right? Yeah, carrier fighters, carrier naval bombers. That's fine. Obviously, we need more, but that's okay. We'll get there. Oh, yeah, 4 3 3 my bad. And there you go. Wait, Champions Day. Oh, Heroes All. Yeah, Heroes All. China. Five, four, three. I hope that's enough divisions. That might not be, though, so. Red Navy time. And let's also do the Aerial Defense Initiative. The threat of Aerial Bombardment persists in the home islands. They must be safeguarded immediately. This is probably a real bad thing for me to do right now. Can we, what happens if we actually go to war with them? They, there you go. That's what I was kind of expecting. I'm a little worried about this one. Ooh, yeah, it's probably good to call these guys up here. Be okay. you get here. here, come down here. If you can get over here quick enough, they you won't lose. Someone got this way. There you go. Not bad. It's like one of these guys out then. You're looking pretty gosh darn awful. Awful. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not too bad, actually, at all. Oh, uh, how did that take Mongolia? You might as well get it done, right? Yeah, you might as well get it done, since we got the PP for it anyways. Cool. Mechanized offensives. Very nice, very nice. This is definitely going to be a battle for the ages. A defensive battle, I should say, at the least. Cow are not looking too bad, even though China has probably so much manpower. Just, just so much manpower, man. Okay, I didn't know that they had none. Okay, then, that's not bad. Uh, let's do Im Institute Egalitarianism. For as long as Japan has existed, there's been a strict hierarchy between nobles and peasants, as well as men and women. These social shackles shall fall away. E legal egalitarianism for all and forever. Nice. Women are allowed to become military pilots. Okay, well, if they choose to die on the front lines, too, that's okay with us. Alright, so if you guys are here, I want to use you as kind of bait. Or, like, bait enemies into attacking us some more, so. There you go. As soon as we leave, they start attacking. Look at that. Go figure. I kind of want to do a counterattack immediately. Um, you could probably honestly do it. Force it. That might work. Yeah, that actually might literally just work very, very well. We'll see what we can do, though. Not bad. And there you go. We need more divisions on the front, anyways, right now. So, we got J we got not Japan. We are Japan. We got Beijing. Look at that. 28,000 versus a quarter million, and they have no more manpower, so any damage we do, they cannot recover from. Nice. Look at that division. That's so bad. 
Oh yeah. Oh, they, okay. So they reinforce that that place. Whatever. It is what it is. Um. We go do that too. We definitely need some more chromium, which sucks, but. Uh, Montenegro. Sure. Why not for now? Not bad overall. This is going a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay. What the heck? Uh, Montenegro. Why? Cool. Marine brigades are not very good, okay? I'll be honest here, guys. Like, there's been, like, a few days since the last episode I recorded this, so... My apologies. If I don't remember what, exactly what I've done before, so... 300,000. Very nice, very nice. Oh, if we could get down here faster than this, that'd be... Oh! Four divisions encircled. Oh, we can... They're fight fighting to the death. Awesome! Nice. Very good. Uh, can we get more stability, maybe? I kind of would want some more stability. War support's not bad either, but still. Yeah, it's not bad. You lose quite a bit of political power, so let's wait first. Volunteer only. Yeah, we're probably going to need to boost that up, man. Um, uh, fire production. Just qual- I just like- I prefer Oh, that's not bad. Um, yeah, that's not bad. I'm not going to use those things too much, though. I'm going to use a lot of this stuff. Fighters. Um... I like that extra soft attack, though. That's a very nice soft attack. Cool. Heavy equipment. Toter oh, let's get some more. Oh, God, yes. More artillery. Oh, God, yes. Oh, don't tease me like that. Lessons from Fujian. Oh, can't do that. Like, take, take that one, cause, but that sucks. The self sufficiency of a revolutionary republic as a necessary and positive step towards strengthening the revolution. The Germans have led the way, and now we've achieved an autarchy of our own. Nice. Construction 3 is good. Get some more construction 2. Awesome! The prostitution debate. It's not really a question or issue that was at the forefront of people's thoughts when the revolution against the old regime first began, but more recently, more and more people from across Japan have raised questions about the policy of this new Japan on prostitution. While some people, mainly more conservative groups from rural areas in Japan, have, have had arguments against prostitution, appealing to conservative thought and putting an end to so-called degeneracy. These constitute the minority. The center of the debate is focused on the idea of two women, Ito no and Yamakawa Ikuki. Or ki oh, my apologies, Kikyu? Ito takes a stance of keeping prostitution legal so that women across Japan may feel a sense of sexual liberation as well as an opposition to traditional exploitative roles imposed on women by the more conservative aspects of society, which shame them and in many cases kill them in cases of honor killings for simply having sexual relations with other people. Kikyu, however, views prostitution as a despicable institution which oppresses hundreds of millions of women across the globe. The idea of sexually liberated women to fall under the servitude of men is contradictory with the views of the revolution which supposed supports rights for women. The debate begins. Ito no takes a stand. Comrades, let's reaffirm what the nature of this revolution is. It's a movement that came from the peasantry in the countryside and the workers in the city. Those who set up against the reactionary and neutral feudal remnants of our bourgeois past so that we may be free from the chaffing bonds of capitalist and reactionary oppression. Thus, one of the staple parts of our movement, by its very nature, must be the rejection of reactionary views on the women and on sex. So I ask you, what is there? More reactionary, more oppressive towards us than the standards and expectations of bourgeois society that have so have for so many centuries been placed upon us. I've heard many counts of people in our beloved homeland and people far away lands being killed in the streets simply for the suit of their own joy and desires, or perhaps even more atrociously, due to their need to try and relieve that crushing weight of poverty that came to them through the darnable evils of bourgeois oppression. Here we see a system that actively damages those who live under it when they do nothing against it and strikes out with greater ferocity when any attempt of escape is made. I've seen this system be rightfully condemned by all of you here, but one disturbing remnant of our bourgeoisie past remains an unsettling high amount of people among us. And that remnant is the same thing behind the savage murders of countless innocent people, traditionalism. Make no mistake, I do not believe that or believe in the eradication of our nation's culture, but we must recognize that reactionary views are that actively suppress the rights and livelihoods of women that have no place in our new nation. We must free women of the traditionalist rules imposed on them. If they wish to go to bed with someone out of love before they are married and for the sake of money or for the uh, sake of the very thrill of the act, then who are we to say they shouldn't? Let alone shun them and kill them. It is because of this that I say it is essential for us. If we are to stay true to our new revolutionary spirit that we oppose any attempt at the abolition of prostitution, and in doing so finally reject the traditionalist reactionary notions of the past to get paved the way for our socialist state, let us now hear from Yamakawa. Let us make no mistake. 
Um, one of the principal parts of the movement must be the liberation of women and putting an end to the oppressive restraints placed upon them by the past. It is most important that we oppose them in all its forms, and to me it seems undeniable that one of these forms is prostitution, historically speaking. Prostitution has never been kind towards women. As my opponent rightfully said, women have been killed for being prostitutes. Though what she has ignored is that there are numerous times, or numerable times, when the people they are serving are the ones who kill them. Whether this is to escape the responsibility of paying for the services or out of statistic perversions, it does not matter, because either way it shows us that the very act of prostitution will always subjugate the women. Throughout history, and practically every civilization, women have been placed in the subservient roles of men, and the abuse and humiliation that women endure as a result of must be something that we must staunchly oppose no matter what. If we were to make a nation of revolutionaries and to dismantle the oppression of the pitiful remains of imperialist and capitalist thought, then prostitution must, of course, be outlawed. But it is not the women who we must punish, it is those who at every moment seek to exploit their suffering for profit. The panders of procurers. These petty bourgeoisie dogs must be sent to the wall just for the same as everyone else we have taken up arms against. They must work to better the lives of former prostitutes to prevent any want or need or return to such a life. And once we do so, I'm confident that there shall be no need or examples of exploitation within a new socialist homeland. It is undeniable that if we wish to prevent hypocrisy and to prevent becoming the same as the pigs before us, it is imperative that we take this great step onwards to establishing and curing an utopian society. So let us, comrades, stand together to end this madness. Let us stand opposed to the exploitation of women. Strike down poverty and therefore strike down the exploitation of women. Strike down the petty bourgeois that poison our streets and finally form a free society free of all traces of capitalism and imperialism. So, why would it depend Asianism? Um, hmm. Legalize it. Prostitution legalize is right. Restrict it. Doesn't seem very liber liberating if we restrict it. Vanguard socialists. Ooh, versus the other one, popular socialists. These guys are popular, so the popular thing might be to legalize it. We're going to restrict it, maybe. Let's restrict it. That seems... I don't know, I could be wrong, but it feels like... Pop oh, wait, that's popular socialism. We want vanguard socialists. And that's anarchism. Um, I don't know. You guys have to remind me which way, whichever way we go. Tell me to go the other way next time. So, please remind me. Um, I mean, this one says Marxist. Pan-Asianists. Which one is... An oh, Anarchist. All Japan Confederation of Trade Unions. Oh, she's leading it. Look at that. Ito no. So I feel like this one... We should do this one, but... Uh, legalize it. Anarchism. Mm. If we're Pan-Asian... Uh, I'm going to choose this one, probably. Just because... I want to choose this one whenever we do the popular socialist one, so... Whenever we do that route. My apologies if you didn't like the way we went for that one. Perform the National Workers Bureau. The Imperial bu Bureaucracy is washed away, and now an apparatus must replace it. To meet the needs of the commons and coordinate the national machinery of agriculture, industry, and culture. Cool. So, who's next? Like, seriously, who's next? South China. Spill independent. Take Jing Jing. I guess we still have oh, these guys up here, too, so... Um... There you go. See what you can do. Cool. How many divisions do they have? No manpower, like the last group. Alright. Um, uh, yeah, I'll talk economy is not bad. Power to the people would be cool, but we're not. It's not Vanguard Socialists. Presidential elections, connect the rail gauges, and a new socialist hegem hegemon. Hegemon. Like as defensive is very nice. Centralized fire control, very good. All right, let's see what happens. They might actually be able to do very well against us. We'll see. Or we do okay against them. This flank should do quite well. Could be wrong though. You never know. And again, I mean, they're not like it's not looking like they really claimed a lot of their borders. And I don't know. We'll see. Lost 143 versus... Ah, it's not bad. 12,000. They don't have that many divisions. That's nice. That's actually very, very nice. Thank you, guys. Shiga Yoshio? Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Go straight on up. Curry. You still need to raise a conscription level. That's alright. I'll track economy. And then connect the rail gauges. And I want to wait for that one later. Devalue the yen. Oh yeah, we want to do this one too. This one. Yay! Yay! These guys are only 20 combat, but they're doing quite well, so. Ah, uh, Cheetah. Cheetah's that far. Yeah, is that? Yeah, it is over there, huh? What is this one? Oh, we can do this one next. 
reconstruct the countryside. What little infrastructure there was in many rural areas has been all but destroyed in the Civil War. It should be one of the first priorities of the new government to repair it and prevent, of course, a famine. Happy 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. Um, it's fully independent. I want to kill off all these guys. Can we not kill these guys? Oh, Jing Zhang. I guess we gotta wait to get over here. Jing Zhang. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing great. Cheetah. Go to Cheetah. Keep building more civvies, because we can. Nice. Monopoly shattered. The new worker. Centralized commune system. And restarted industrial industrialization. Not bad. Oh my goodness, is that not it? Taksimo. Okay, no, it is it. Okay. On weekly, thank you. A pan Eurasianist dream, my friend. Jing Jiang, yes, please. Yes. You know, the supply is going to be so god awful here, but that's alright. Let's go ahead and go to war. Can you actually win here immediately? How strong are they? Oh, to six divisions. I got a kind of a cool flag. It's okay. Maybe not that great, but whatever. And reconstruct the countryside. Followed up with the value of the M. Oh, it's not bad, not great, but whatever. In order to improve the conditions of the people, we should take the drastic measures of printing yen in large quantities. Distribute the money to the people and take advantage of the new lower ex exchange rate to encourage business from our comrades abroad. Excavation is very good, too. Not bad. Um, hmm. I mean, if we have to, we can just manly go to war. I'm not sure that would actually spawn the Chinese United Front, but... That might. That literally might. Zili Clique. Bai Yang... Well, I mean, we already got rid of the, the other guys, so... What? This guy's really good on for this. For planning. Holy crud. Nice. We can check the countryside and divide the yen. Follow up with what? Uh, yeah, this one. Nagasaki Asahiga Railway. New chief, greater industrial capacity. New railways must be constructed to link in major cities. This will improve our internal economic coordination. Yes, please. Come on, guys. I know there's a lot of hills around here, but you guys can still get there. No commander doesn't help, so. At least for them. Koton em Empire, huh? This is, it feels like a very weird way to get all the way where we really want to be. Hey, another carrier, not bad. Not great, but not bad. I'm not a big fan of carriers at the time of this recording, but yeah, not bad. Could you just take you guys and go here and do that? You might just be able to. And we have to build infrastructure because it's just so bad. It's just so bad, man. I want you guys to go home. I come over here. It's a Zili clique. Because we're going to go to war with these guys. Kuming. Should be able to do a cable. Of course, there's no guarantee, but unfortunately, my friends, I must end this episode here. I know it's very short, and the time of this recording, I'm actually very, very inc extremely like most busy I've almost been in my entire life. But new socialist hegemon, Japan's place as a regional hegemon in the Far East has been thought by many to be lost. We have not only rebuilt our nation, but reshaped and strengthened it beyond recognition. We're now a bulwark of socialism, ready to prove our success to all. Regional hegemon once more, and with sooner world power once more. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue pushing in to the rest of Asia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.